hello friends welcome to am channel in this video i am going to share one tool which is very helpful for technical support engineers also for web developers uh, site reliability engineers and so many uh, engineers those are working with websites and domains so uh, you will find there are so many websites similar to dnswatch.info this is just an and one example uh, here is also view dns.info is also one more website dns checker is also one more one another website dns checker.org uh, this is a recently updated website and here is one more view dns.com also and ms toolbox is also one of the best uh, tools in this uh, technical support so uh, i'll uh, explain you how we can uh, use this tool so suppose uh, we have one website so i'm uh, browsing this website now so consider what happens is sometimes you are not able to browse this website or you are working on any website online and uh, suddenly you are not able to connect to that website so so to confirm whether uh, that website is live or is there any issue with dns uh, records or with uh, any sometimes these tools also helps us in the case of email security related cases so how we can confirm whether this website is able to reach from our desktop or our system or not so what we need to do is uh, take your domain name and you can paste it in this text box or you can also search this with ip address of your server okay sometimes we are using on uh, a naked IP server and we are using IP address to access that server so you can mention that IP address also to check if that is able to reach from your desktop or from your system and select type is as a, a record so a record is IP address of the server our domain name will now give us the a record of this website so now so these three records we got after resolving so one is the ip address of the server and these two are name servers of this website wherever this website is hosted on any uh, server so every website requires name server records and if your website is just hosted in couple of minutes so sometimes you are not able to browse that website so there is also one more thing that uh, requires every time whenever we are adding ns records or a records it takes some specific time to propagate that records so it is called as uh, ttl so it is time to live so here it is default time is 86400 seconds so and in the case of a record it is 14400 seconds this time is taken whenever we are changing these records suppose i want to uh, host my websites on any another server for that what i need to do is i need to go on dns server and edit my a record and change this ip record with my new server's ip address so after that it will take means generally as default time is mentioned as this 14400 seconds but sometimes your uh, ip record will propagate within a um, couple of minutes sometime it will take sometimes half an hour it depends but uh, if your domain is not reachable after taking this much seconds also then you need to verify in dns records that 
uh, you have mentioned the correct ip rec- record of this domain name or uh, you have not a, um, a spelling mistake in your domain name uh, that things you need to verify from your dns records so this is just a one tool here you can verify multiple types of records mention your uh, for that you just have to mention your uh, domain name or ip address and what type of record you want to find or you want to verify sometimes you also need to verify uh, some email records which are mx record and to verify that you need to check you need to select type as mx record okay sometimes for uh, domain verification purpose or sometimes if dom- if you are transferring domain from one uh, network provider or your hosting provider to another hosting provider then sometimes you need to add text record for your verification purpose and click on resolve if you you can uh, control f and control v select suppose you have received one uh, txt record from your provider copy that come here uh, select the txt record for your domain resolve it some suppose you are getting this record here so copy the record you received from your provider come here control f and you can control v if the record you receive and the record you are getting here are absolutely similar then uh, the verification has to be complete okay sometimes you need to add google verification uh, records also there are uh, various types of records so uh, for record purpose i will uh, try to create one another video but in this video i am just going to explain you how to use such tools suppose this is the just one tool dns watch or info so we have one another tool also we have dns.info in here if you are uh, seeing here uh, here are so many options so every option gives you a capability or uh, some options you, here you will check the reverse ip lookup of your domain here you will see the who is lookup reverse who is lookup here you will see the ip history of your uh, ip address that you are using currently for any specific website from here sometimes you will get the dns report and this every tool is for some specific action or for some specific verification okay so um, many of the options in here are i'm not sure about what those are for this is for trace route to check if you are able to connect to that specific uh, destination of the website okay let's wait so now it is now giving us 30 hops of this trace route and in 11 hops itself i am able to connect to that website okay or sometimes what happens is any one tool doesn't work for your uh, purpose so you need to go with the another tool and try in that tool so this is the dns checker.org website and here we have so many tools in all tools options suppose you want to check for dns lookup go go to the dns lookup mention your domain name suppose am channel.in whatever it is www is uh, m- that doesn't uh, sometimes help but if you are sure then you can use www as well and dns server select as per your options or uh, you can keep default as google dns server and click on show dns records okay for sorry this is the for show ds record so here i will click on dns record now here make sure you are mention your domain name make uh, keep default dns server i will select the record type as all and click on look up dns okay so i can make sure that 
this is my host server here my website is hosted okay and i will get multiple records here whichever i have added for my website some are txt records okay one an soa record ns records these are two ns records for my website here is one more tool that is viewdns.com it is also work similarly you can try any option means sometimes you need to verify a record sometimes c name sometimes mx record sometimes name server record sometimes ptr records srv records soa records txt records as well so as per your requirement you can select that specific type of record and click on search okay and if that is you are uh, resolving here you are getting that correct record then we can say that it is correctly propagated or after that uh, that suppose you are verifying your website on google so if you have added the correct google record txt record we require we get from google and we will add here sometimes for analytics purpose or any for any other purpose if you are getting the correct record then your verification has to be done within a couple of minutes after that or as per the ttl suppose this ttl is 1400 400 14400 for txt records whatever the default ttl you have mentioned in your dns server it will take that much time so similarly we have a uh, mx toolbox here this has so many options in this tool you can also check for the blacklisted websites or blacklisted ip addresses at some places mx lookup you can also search for dns lookups so many options you can get in mx toolbox and i'm not going to cover uh, any other part in this video i'm just uh, looking into the dns lookup and you can uh, explore this at your uh, space or whatever your requirement is you can try ping trace block blacklist check block list check dns lookups whatever your requirement is okay and you can verify that information at at this uh, below side of this tool okay so try using this tool whenever you have any issues with your domains or uh, ip addresses for uh, reaching from your system or it may be helpful uh, from some uh, testing from different networks that whether you are able to reach to that server or not so i will mention these uh, uh, with, uh, websites in the description section try it out you may find some another tools also there are so many similar tools available in there try it whichever is uh, helpful or whichever whichever uh, uh, you can able to verify your records with the help of you can go with that tool and That's it in this video. Thank you for watching this video Please like and subscribe to AM channel